Well, uh, the first difficulty obviously is the physical difficulty that we faced, um, uh, especially because we started this, uh, this trek um, uh, in, the, in the winter. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of snow and, and harsh winter conditions. Uh, we even had to face uh, high winds, uh, sustain 60 km hour winds in minus 20 degrees. So obviously the physical uh, demands are very high. Um, Again, uh, on another point, uh, the days are long. We're sometimes walking almost 12, uh, 12 hours every day, uh, more, more than there's sunlight in the day. So uh, those are the physical uh, challenges we've been facing. Uh, there's also obviously the, the mental and, say, shall we say, the emotional challenges. Um, obviously, being ho away from home for so long away uh, for so long is, is difficult. Um, but the good thing is, obviously, we have a very nice team. We have a very uh, cohesive and, and, and supportive team and um, you know when anybody's down we will support each other so uh, that that makes everything easier because every day is a different place and every day we meet some you know we meet lovely people really friendly hospitable people uh, I mean Nepal is famous for that and you know I'm not surprised but it's it really is something that you appreciate as you go uh, further and further longer and longer into the journey that people are always so welcoming so curious about what we're doing they're always wanting to help in some way always wanting to know if they can do it so it's 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 uh, you know the, the local people are always very supportive and it actually is really uh, helpful also in our own mission uh, the two missions that we have which is one to promote tourism uh, I mean, when you have the most beautiful country in the world and some of the most lovely people in the world, obviously it's very easy to promote that, very easy to find the best out of that. Also, on the other hand, having people, open people who are willing to share their lives with us, open, you know, are willing to open up their homes to us, uh, you do get a different glimpse uh, of, of what their lives are uh, about. And so it's easier for us also to explore more about the climate change aspect, which is also part of our, um, part of our mission to find out what the impacts of climate change are and how people are dealing with it, how people are coping with it. So that's uh, becoming quite easy for us to do, uh, even though we have very uh, physically very uh, difficult days. Um, well, actually, uh, you know, this is, this is a very uh, good question because uh, on our team, uh, with us four uh, um, core members and the ten support members, between us we calculated we're 42 times we've been to the top of Mount Everest. Mm -hmm. So between all of us, uh, between the 14 of us, and we've all sort of hands down, uh, we we all agree that this is more difficult than climbing Everest. Um, the, the demands, uh, the daily demands, are just uh, they accumulate much more difficult than climbing Everest. On the other hand, uh, it's a different type of satisfaction. Uh, where you know when you reach the top of Mount Everest, it's you know it's uh, reaching a goal. But every day here, reaching your camp is your goal. You know, reaching there before dark and being able to interact with people is is a goal achieved. So it's it's small satisfactions, but you bundle it all together. I think this is much more satisfying uh, satisfying than climbing to the top of Mount Everest. First of all, um, you know they always want to know uh, where we are going, where we did, where we came from, uh, and then they say, "Why are we walking?" And then when we tell them what we're trying to do, first thing is a uh, surprise and shock. Wow, you're doing this! You know, fantastic. Uh, you know, uh, sometimes there's envy. You know, uh, oh wow, I wish I could do that. Mm. But then sometimes also there's that sort of reaction going, "You guys are crazy." You know? But in in any case, it's always positive. It's always uh, it's always. Um, friendly and it's always encouraging, they're always supporting us, so uh, you know, on all aspects it's, uh, it's been really rewarding for us.